Hey Stampers, get her again and oh I haven't put my camera on. Right there. I haven't got a battery in <laughs> as I thought then I was looking how unprepared was I? I wondered why the desk wasn't showing up. <laughs> oh you've got to have a laugh haven't you? You've got to have a laugh. So I'm coming back, I'm going to do a card, I haven't made it yet so I'm coming back and we're going to do one of those that everyone's doing them at the minute. And we've done the, he the hexagon, uh, we've done the, uh, the pinwheel tower card, now I'm going to do the hexagon pinwheel tower card. Oh crumbs, I should have done some of my gluing first, two, three, four, five, six. Let's get some gluing done and then I'll pop that there whilst you, if you want to, I'll hold it up for a sec, if you want to go and get all your pieces, pause, get all your pieces, come back, we'll make it together. How's that? So you do that while I start putting my bits together. So how cute is that? So I'm using the freebie you get from Celebration, which is apparently just started. So I'm having three of the dots and three of the pink stars. Because my patterns were in the right way, I could have turned the pattern around, but this is just for the smaller panels. Yes, I should have been prepared to a little bit more. And you, it doesn't take long once you've got the glue pot out to start adding uh, these cute little panels on. Take a look at that. They're not going the right way, but hence the reason they're going on with the pattern side. You know me, I like small borders. Let's get our panels ready. These should be going on the smaller panels on the card in a minute. Cute. Last one of these. And I think it fits in a 6x6 six six envelope or you can make one if you've got plenty of this designer series paper left over that'd be really cute so now i'm popping my panels and my paper again i'm going to have stripes one way why have i only got four i need another one ah oh, right okay that's four i've done five So what paint? I've got two stripes, two of those with the green. There it is. I'll just get one more panel. Uh, this is two and a quarter. That's it running down that way. Two and a quarter, about five and three quarters. There we go, I've got my five panels, because one of the panels is going to be for writing your message to whoever soon gets one of your beautiful cards. So here goes, woohoo! So, I could do the same again, but I'm not going to this time, I'm going to have the, the little penguins coming down. And these are going on my layers, and I've just used cheap white cardstock perfect and then we're going to add them to the blue panels oh get my brown powder that's it because I've got tiny little borders I love that Paper. I mean on the panel that you're just going to write on you could put a pale piece of uh, designer series paper on it 
and then attach it to your card because you can still write over something pale so honestly you don't want to do it on anything fussy so yeah i think i should have uh, got a head start on myself before pressing record but i know you girls don't mind How sweet this is going to be. So one more with the penguins. I might actually put some designer series paper on the last sheet for writing on just to give it a little bit of a wow factor. I've got the punch. I've got the the dark stamp set as well. They're so close. They're such tiny borders. But I love it. So, last two. I'm going to have the stripes this time. I went for the dark misty moonlight because it's on the stripes. It's on the penguins' hats. It's on... Um, the scarves as well of the polar bear it's just a cute set isn't it nearly done Mr Boyce is getting over excited with his game again <laughs> cracks me up getting mega stressed over the house move told him not to you know what he's like he's a warrior tiny little borders look at that how cute is that so the panels are now done so let's get a scoreboard oh I don't need it. Uh, do I? Yeah. No. I don't. Yes, I do. Whoa. So, I'm just going to grab my score tool. I need to score this at one, two, three, four, five, and six. And that gives you your end panel. Now it's just a matter of folding them and making sure they are straight along the edges. I always, uh, I always met it score out from the middle because if you score down, you can pull your paper. At least that way you're doing it half and half. What you want to do is you're going to take a tiny little skim off there. And I'm going to use just the tiniest little bit because when you fold that, it'll buckle. So you're literally taking a slither off. And I've got that the tiniest little piece. Perfect. Now that's lying flat. So I'm going to use I'm going to bend that over. Oh, shavings. Have I done it right? That's it. And I fold it. Now fold it. Give that a good burnish. Because that's going to take your shape. Make sure you keep your bang on level top and bottom. So this is 
where I'm going to put this piece. This is for writing on. I've got some little snowflakes somewhere. Tiny little border. How sweet. So what you're going to do now is if all right, let me see. Uh, yeah. So I'm going to put my stripes on first. So glue this panel. Go to the score line and making sure that is bang on top and bottom you can stand it up if you want fold that over I think I should have started with the panel first because I've only got two of these now so I'm going to have two together oh, I'm going to have three together and then Right. Again, making sure it's right or close to the edge. And you can stand it up to make it nice and straight. How cute is that going to look? So I'm, I'm going to have to put these because if I do that now and then that, I've got two panels together. So I'm going to put the three in the middle. I didn't work that one out right, did I? Again, I should have put the the panel with the three on first. So again, making sure you're going down. Hold it up so it's dead flat. Top and bottom. Hold that over again. It's up to you how confident you feel about pulling how much glue you can use tape stand that up make sure it's all flat there perfect and then the last flick is for our last panel going there I love this art glitter glue so I know it goes off pretty quick so there's no messing around for me Stand it up, make sure it's all perfectly level on the top and on the bottom, it's all bang on beautiful. Isn't that cute? And it all spins. I love this one. So now we're going to pop our panels on. So I'm going to do alternates. And then the spotty one, this is coming along lush. Perfect. And you just keep flicking it over. Isn't that cute? make it bigger I don't know or maybe I'll like experiment perfect two more strips and then we can do some stamping these are cuteness cuteness in a bundle do 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 I sound in a happy mood tonight
Oh, there we go. Absolutely wonderful. So, there is that hexagon card, and it's got a different panel on each turnabout. Looks lovely. You can have it this way, you can have it any way you like. I think that's cute. They, they're all cute. How sweet. And it all fits nice and flat. And let's measure that for you. That is six by six. Perfect. Right, let's get the lid on my glue for a minute. That didn't take long, did it? Considering I hadn't got anything prepped. Isn't that gorgeous? Right, let's get some paper and I'm using the stamp set. I'm still using Whisper White because I've got loads of packets. So I'll pull one out and let's see if I've got any Misty Moonlight cardstock spare. Let's see. Oh, perfect. So I was going to put my card in there. <laughs> so let's get how cute. Look, you've got the balloon, the hat and the scarf. How cute is this? So. Sorry about the noise. And do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take these off here. And stick them over the pen. Well, I want that one for a minute. And I might use the little slidey one. But I'm going to, because I don't like this, I like prefer my stamps to. I need the beak. You've got little sparkles like sun, uh, snowflakes now as well. Um. You've got that swashy thing. Because I like to put everything back properly. And I can't do that if I'm trying to guess where it goes on the packet. Do you know what I mean? Do you know when these have them lined up on the packet? And now they haven't. Got little feet, how cute are those feet? Tiniest little love art. Oh, it's stuck to my finger instead of on there. That love art wants to stay with me. Did you see that? <laughs> yeah, because I prefer, like I say, to put everything away. And if I've got a space for it, I don't want to be second guessing where I'm putting it on here, do I? So if I put them all on there and put this on the top. Happy feet. Happy feet. I might have the little bow tie as well. That's cute. Where's that piece for? Up there. Don't stick to me, lovely. Stick to there. Lots of thanks. Do you know you get me? You got happy birthday. How cute. You got his scarf. Season's greeting. Oh, I might use that actually. I can throw that top piece away now. I like you a lot, eh? How cute is that? It's like a little but a lot. To the coolest friend ever. Ah, oh, sweet's that. Be cool, be chill, be merry. Oh, I'll use that one as well. Then I can put this on the top. Where's those? 
I've been I've got two cards to make tonight. Uh, that's better. Perfect. So they've got all them mounted for now. Let's pop that to one side. And the dad, this is free from, it's Penguin Playmates it's called, and it's free uh, as a celebration item. Absolutely adorable. The only thing, it doesn't cut this one out, so, oh, let's just get my dark black ink. I think with Memento, uh, you have to stamp it several times. At least prime it first. I'm just going to How cute is that? Look how dark he is as well and I haven't stained my stamps I love the fact that I don't stain them with that ink So leave that out Let's get our little penguin Oh, nice and dark, look at that. He's just too cute. Now for my sentiment. Perfect. Get our Christmas greeting. Season's greeting even. And just pop that in the middle. How cute. Uh, right, that's enough of the black. I want some pumpkin pie. Put his little beak. Let's check out what way round that is. There it goes. I'm going to do that again. I've smudged it a little bit. That's better. How cute. Right, let's have a look. He's got a fresh fuchsia on there. So I think that's the colour I'll use. For his little dinky little bow tie. How cute is that? Oh, look how cute that is. Oh my goodness, that is so cute. Um, what else did I get out? Bow tie, beak, they can stay together. Oh, these lovely little stars. So let's grab, oh, I've not done his beak. Let me get his beak out. This is the side on view. There, want that one. better. Go back to my pumpkin pie. My little card. Right. Kane is not sure which way around this goes. Let me just stamp it on there to see. Yeah, that's the side on view look how sweet is that right now we're going to get these little sparkles oh i don't want that color i'll go back to the fuchsia and some little snowflakes i 
you still got space to write. He's so cute. I love that. So that's that done, that's done, that's done, that's done. That can go back in. So I can put my sentiment back on there for the other card I'm doing. Right, now let's cut him out. Ah, oh, I should have I should have stamped him upside down. Know what to do. Grab trimmer. I did two and a quarter. <coughs> so I want to cut this out as well. I can pen at the end then. I think I'm a bit wonky, but don't worry about that. I can thin that down a little bit more. Right, now for my little penguin. How cute is this girl? I'm going to put all that space for do something else. You told me I don't like to throw my weight away. Right, let's get. How wide's that panel? I think it's two and a half. Yeah, so if I do that two inches, two by two. Oh, give me a Gabby Ann. Let me just do that again. Let's get rid of that. I'll do two and a quarter. Let's see what that's by now. Is that two and a quarter? Yes, bang on. Two and a quarter by two and a quarter. I can go back in there. I get my white back. It's not big enough now. It's not wide enough, look. No. So, grab some more. Two and an eighth by two and an eighth. I couldn't pick it up then with my nail the way it was. Right, two and one eighth. Right, two and one eighth. That should fit on there now. Perfect, cute little, cute little border. Uh, let's glue that on. Perfect. Right, got some dimensionals. A little harder these ones to get off because they're from the card kits. I might do it on a slant. Put him in the centre. Get those lovely little stars again. Sorry about that, ladies. I've got the drops this big time. Oh, smudged his belly, mind you. We can hide that now. Oh, 
What a silly sausage. And then I'm just going to pen at the end. and just to get a little bit of glue. Pop that across his belly. How sweet. And then we can decide that's where we're having that. And I'm just gonna glue down one side and pop that. I'm gonna put it right on the edge actually there. So it's covering my card and him. How sweet is that? And I'm going to get that some. Oh, I've dropped one. I've got some snowflakes, which are just the cutest. So I'm going to pop one just in the centre of each panel. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ah, look, there's some more. So. If you're sending this in the post, it's not going to be bulky. It's not going to cost a fortune to send it. alternate them they go off in seconds she says different shaped one Are these we had these you had these out a few years back and you just come across things don't you Not wanting to stick, not there. there we go. Oh, flipping X. Sorry, girls. <laughs> Brit myself then. Done. I stick one on there. Yeah, I think I will. And that is my hexagon pinwheel. Oh, I've just snapped that clean off. Oh my goodness. What am I like? I'll have to. <laughs> I'll have to get a new tip on there. Oh wow, never mind. <laughs> Too heavy handed. But there it is, there's that cute little pinwheel card. Absolutely adorable. And like I say, it folds flat for, uh, to fit inside a six by six envelope. And I took my inspiration from the lovely Jan B. And another lady I saw on Pinterest, but I can't think of a name. But my pop-up feed this morning was uh, of Jambi, and I thought, oh, I love that. I'm going to make that one because I've made the other style for you. I can't believe I've snapped that off. I'll have to get a new... I haven't got another top. Am I going to be able to screw down in there? Oh, well, never mind. But there we go. There's that lovely, beautiful hexagon uh, pinwheel card. And I hope you like it. Thanks for watching. Till next time. Bye.